Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm very excited because I did receive my Glamlite Rick and Morty collection. I did purchase this myself and I'm excited to get into it. This entire collection is still available. I paid $90 for the full collection but I did get 15% off of that with a discount code. And with that being said, let's get into what this collection features. Starting with the eyeshadow palette, this is the Rick and Morty X Glam Light 30 Shade Palette. This retails for $36 on its own. It's time to get Swifty. The Rick and Morty Glam Light Collection has arrived. Cook up out of this world looks with our 30 shade palette that consists of highly pigmented matte and shimmer shades that will have you looking interdimensional. And then here's the outside of the palette. This is kind of lifted a little so it does feel very like nice on my hands. And then when you open the palette up, you get Rick and Morty on the mirror, which I think is such a beautiful, like, touch. You know, this is, like, the iconic Rick and Morty photo, too. But then you get this palette, and, like, this palette is just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I know there's a lot of hot fire with Rick and Morty lately. I had no idea that was even happening when I bought this, and I only found out after watching a few videos, so I had no idea. Apparently, he's not even a part of Rick and Morty anymore. I feel like Glamlight worked on this for a really long time before that happened this seems very planned out this seemed like they had this sitting and it was ready so i think that happened and Glamlight probably didn't release this collection because that happened but who knows i don't know i don't know anything i'm just speculating the next product featured in this collection is the rick and morty x Glamlight highlighter trio this retails for 18 dollars the packaging on this one's so funny <laughs> And you got the highlighter palette. The camera is is really not going to pick up these shades. I promise you. They are so shifty. I'm going to have to like swatch them like underneath sunlight for you to see them. Very much so giving rainbow vibes. And for $18, I think that's a really good price for these three highlighters. I do like this formula, but it's not for everyone. So if you don't like glitter, this probably isn't for you. But I love it on the cheeks. It's one of my favorite types of highlighters because I feel like they're just so captivating. But they can get a little bit messy if you're not careful. The next thing we have in this collection collection is the Rick and Morty X Glam Light Setting Spray. This does retail for $15. I had to struggle to get this out of there, but look how cute this bottle is. Oh my god. This is adorable packaging. It says, it looks like your new go-to setting spray has been invented. Our setting spray is an ultra-fine mist that primes, hydrates, sets, and refreshes your skin to have you ready for your next adventure. I feel like this is so fitting for this collection. They knew exactly what shape to make this bottle. They knew they slayed the packaging is very beautiful very nice quality it's not glass it's plastic but it does feel like a good high quality plastic and i'm surprised that it didn't spill or anything it's very sealed in there and like this packaging is so fun i love this packaging i don't want to throw any of it away this is the problem with cute packaging just like and the fact that you can like prime your face, I kind of want to put some on right now. kind of smells kind of fresh. It's like a light scent. This is going to get a lot of use from me. I actually want to buy a backup. I really like the mister on this. It's a very, it's a strong mister that reaches your face, but it's not spitty. Like, and it gave my skin like the prettiest glow. And it feels very cooling on the skin. That feels very nice on the skin. I'm gonna test the like durability of this like with an eyeshadow and like spray it and see like how it dries down because I'm curious now. And then we do have the Rick and Morty X Glam Light Rick Hologram Lip Kit which does retail for $14. Wubba Lubba Dub Dub, Rick and Morty have curated a holographic lip gloss formula that gives you an out of this world shine paired with a lip pencil to help shape the perfect look. And you get your cute gloss and a very nicely packaged lip liner as well. I will say, while I do love these boxes that they do, I already have a few of them, but they are a little hard to get the gloss off, especially if like nails or anything, it's gonna be real hard. Another thing I wanted to mention is that I've out of the entire collection this graphic here is the one that looks the lowest quality and i don't know if 
you can see from back here but if I hold this up closer to the camera I feel like you'll be able to see it's a little pixelated if you look up close it does look a little lower quality than the other items and same with the Morty one from afar you can't really tell but get up close and you will be able to see that it's not 100% perfect this one's called the accelerated time lip kit also retails for 14 dollars and then you have your lip liner and lip gloss in there i will have the swatches posted separately you can also get the lip kits in a bundle for 25 dollars if you are interested in just the lippies i will say i showed my boyfriend the lip kit he swatched the lip liner he was quite interested he wanted to see like what you know what color it was and he was just like that's really soft it was really creamy and like usually the glam light lip liners are a little harder so now i'm really excited to see are they really creamy i haven't tried anything but i'm so excited to get into this let's get started on the eye looks i can't believe i didn't film that i took this bright green shade and pat it onto the crease i'm sorry that my camera decided to not film that part could have sworn i clicked the button but i didn't thank god i noticed so I'm just packing this onto the crease. All I did was pat it in. I did not blend. I was going to do that after with a e.l.f. crease brush. This is the perfect brush to do this with. And then I'm just going to start blending those edges slightly. I like it because I feel like it doesn't over blend the shadow. It just keeps it very nice and precise. And that's kind of what I want right now. I love this green. This green is perfect. It's everything I wanted it to be and more. So I'm going to take this dark green on the bottom. And if I need to go even darker, I'm going to dip into the black. But I want to start with this dark green. Just in case that it is that perfect shade for this. And we're just going to pat it in there and see how it just works. Because I'm here hoping that it's going to be dark enough. But I don't think so. Okay, well, some weird shit's happening. Can you... These shades... This shade is so bright that it's just poking through this other shade. I don't like that at all. It does not want to stick on there. And I've never had that happen before. Do you see that like bright spot? What is going on? It just doesn't want to like stick on there very well because of that other shade. And I thought the greens were supposed to work well together. This is not what I would call working well together. This is the first issue I've ever had with a glam light palette. Damn. Do I start over? That looks like shit. Well, what you do on one side, you gotta do on the other. So I can already see where this look is going. I spoke too soon! No! Why? It just doesn't want to blend with that bright green, bro. I don't even understand what is happening. I'm gonna try to put the bright green over since it's so bright. It'll probably just go over it and hope for the best after that because we already have a mess already on this eye. So I don't even know where I'm going to take this now. It's already a mess. I've never seen a shade that was that bright where another color wasn't able to go on top of it. That's just so weird. Has it happened to you? Please let me know because that's just weird. Is it my eye? Like what is going on? Did I not prime correctly? I don't think that's it. What did they put in this green? <laughs> Um, hello? This campaign that you hello. did Hello? So it goes on top of the other dark green just fine. It's when I put it on top of that neon green where it's like, mm, no. Like, I know what you're trying to do, but, like, you can't really do it, so, like, stop. It just kind of doesn't want to be placed down. It just... Can you... I'm pretty sure you can see like where it's just not grabbing. Is it the brush I'm using? What is it? What can I do? I've never fucking seen that before ever. Okay, well, this is so weird. It looks patchy. It looks wrong. Oh, nothing I do is helping. Like really though, nothing I'm doing is helping the integrity of this look. It just looks like shit. I've never had I've never had so much trouble. I'm going to wipe this off and we'll start over. <sighs> okay, I'm going to try a different approach. I know. What the fuck? Did you see that? What the fuck? What? What happened? I don't know. I wish I had, like, the answer for you. I've never had that happen with Glamoury. When I tell you I'm kind of disappointed, I am kind of disappointed. I'm going to start with the dark colors. Because what I saw was that the, the light green went over top of the dark color, but the dark color did not go over top of the bright color. So I'm going to try putting the dark green 
down first. Hopefully that kind of helps the situation. We're hoping that this can turn out because I had a vision and I want it to come true. You can't just, you can't just do that to me, Glamlight. You can't just do that to me. We're not going to make this palette the bad palette. Come on. We need, no, we need it. We need this. So far, this shade is performing a lot better on its own than it was over top of that green. I don't see any patchiness or anything. And then I'm going to just build the color up to be very deep and dark because it's actually a beautiful shade of green. Look at that. That literally performs so much better than it's... I'm confused. Glamite. I got questions. I'm going to take the lime green now. Hopefully. Hopefully. This works because hopefully this works. And we're just gonna start blending. I'm so scared. Oh, I'm running into another issue. Fallout. And it's falling on top of that green. <laughs> Please don't ruin that. That actually looks good. Please don't ruin it. So I'm just gonna continue blending this green shade. Uh, but it's kind of not wanting to do what I need it to. Kind of just freely doing what it wants to. <sighs> this green shade is fail. Oh my god. I'm determined to use it, but it doesn't want to work with me. Two hours later. This shade is like a nightmare. I don't like it. When I first put it down, I was so shocked with the pigment, but like I later realized it's a blessing and a curse. Immediately when I tried to put something else over it, it did not want to budge. So I don't know how I feel about this shade. I thought it'd be like my favorite fucking shade in the entire palette, but like I don't know i feel like if you're only using this shade on its own it's perfect but if you're mixing this lime green with other shades i don't think it really works the best so just keep that in mind when playing with this i did not know that i was gonna have that much trouble with this now in a perfect world where i'd have glitter glue i would use glitter glue but i don't have glitter glue right now but i do recommend using glitter glue so i want to take this darker green and put it like next to this shade i don't know how that's gonna turn out but i'm hoping it looks nice the look overall right now is not my favorite but it's literally just this one green shade that is making my life freaking miserable right now i'm just gonna dip into this shade okay and i'm just gonna mm -mm -mm. it would perform so much better with glitter glue but it's still performing very nicely and i really love the the shimmer in there and on the center i just want to take this really bright green hopefully this one isn't troublesome but it's very pretty still don't fully love this eye look i feel like there's something about it that i'm just like not vibing with i'm sad but it's fine it's fine hope we have still other things to try in this collection i really want to play with the hot pink i also like this blue row right here this blue row is extremely pretty there's a ton of beautiful shades to pick but now i'm a little weary because of my trouble with this shade so i'm gonna i'm a little bit scared but we're gonna still play in around and see what i can do here so i'm gonna dip into that hot pink and we're just gonna oh my god how can i be mad when this that green literally looked like this too <sighs> that is so bright wow oh this might stain like really bad <laughs> i'm gonna look like that. Oh, and I have to go to the fucking eye doctor tomorrow, too. So that should be fun. They're gonna look at me like, what is going on here? Like, are you good? Are you good? <sighs> We're just gonna use this Lunar Beauty brush to blend. I'm kind of scared to add black to this, but we're gonna add black to this. So I'm gonna take the black. The last time I took the black, it did not end well. We're hoping for a different outcome. I really, really like that. I'm just gonna take that hot pink again and kind of just blend the edges of the black with the hot pink i really want to take this black shade on the bottom it has like this the sparkle in here is so pretty it's like pink and purple and blue i really want to take this shade and i want to put it towards the end over here towards that black it also allows me to add like a map of how dark i can make the black because now i can go back into the matte and kind of darken everything more this eye was stressful but this eye is just fun now i want to put the purple in there just because so i want to put this shade in there and then we'll pick between this shade or this shade i don't really know yet definitely one or the other <sighs> that looks 
they're like the black with this purple are mixing very well i'm definitely leaning towards this one and this one but actually on camera, it doesn't really look the same way it looks in person. It looks like this would be a better match. I'm going to go into this shade. I'm going to put that right next to the purple. And one final shade. <laughs> Even though I put like four shimmers already. I'm going to go into this corner shade. That's going right in my inner corner. Right here. Didn't really make a ton of a difference. But just want to see how it looks. Very spacey, very cool, very bright. Both looks are very bright. This one definitely is more Rick and Morty to me. This one's more like celestial and like cosmic galaxy vibes. That's definitely what I'm getting here, which I guess kind of fits the Rick and Morty theme, but they both look really cool and I'm really happy with both of them. So I'm going to finish off my eye looks, put some maybe white eyeliner, black eyeliner. I don't know yet. <laughs> Figure it out as we go. And then we can get started on the rest of the products. Okay, so I'm going to try the lip kits now. I'm going to try the Rick hologram one first. And this comes with a lip liner and a gloss. Really hard to remove from here. I find taking the back end of my tweezers and kind of <laughs> pulling it with my tweezer kind of helps. So if you're having a struggle like me, that's how you can take them out. So I haven't swatched them or anything. I barely looked at this collection. Honestly, I was just I just wanted it. But my boyfriend did swatch this and he said that it was extremely creamy. Let's see how creamy this is. It definitely is extremely sharp. It's almost too sharp. I need like I need to work it a little bit first. It's actually a really pretty color. It's very different for glam light. These are actually creamy. Like they I think they've perfected this formula. Like there's no tugging. It's very smooth, super pigmented. I'm gonna fill in like the outer edges, kind of feather it in. I really like this color. It's very, very, very different for the for for glam light. I'm gonna take the gloss. This is it looks like a pink gloss. These have no scent to them. It's very pretty. Oh my god! Wow, this color is this color is beautiful this color is probably the color i'm going to put on after i've put on the morty one this is this is stunning the packaging of this is also stunning feels nice and like this rick detail is printed on very nice the graphics do look nice on the lip gloss this lip liner was so creamy i'm kind of impressed you don't even have to press that hard and it's a really nice formula i think they fixed it a little bit if you ask me i already i already enjoyed their lip liners i thought they were pretty good but i feel like they've literally perfected the entire formula which is even better and glam light's not shy at fixing formulas they are not shy they've gotten really good <laughs> i really like this color i think the box kind of matches the color perfectly and i actually think this color looks good with both of these looks like i don't really mind it i'm gonna try the morty one now i'm so excited hopefully this one's just as creamy this looks like a really nice bronzy color i'm excited i feel like this is gonna be a more warm nude and like they are sharp like they are so super sharp right now they need to be a little bit swatched before you swatch them this color is a little more out of my comfort zone but i do feel like paired with something it'll look really nice i will say this one doesn't feel as creamy as the other one the other one was much more creamy this one does drag a little more this color kind of reminds me of my lips but like a little bit more warm just like a little more i kind of like it but i do think this one is a little bit more draggy then the other one, I don't know. The other one just was much more creamy. I'm gonna try the gloss now. The packaging on the gloss is so fun. I love it. This one's like a bronzy nude gloss. Oh wow, very nice. It's very golden. I'm getting golden vibes. Looks really nice paired with the lip liner as well. I really like that. I like both colors. I would wear both of them, so I enjoy both. I do enjoy the first one. I feel like that one's more unique than this one is but i like that this one's like a warmer version of my lip color and i feel like that is going to make me gravitate towards using it and i want to see how this wears even though i want to wear the other one but i will wear this one to see like how it wears but the packaging is just i love it they're so cute i've been displaying them like as i get them but like i don't know i'm running out of space to display things but these have to go on display i put the rick hologram one on that's the one I liked 
better and I think it goes very well. I added bronzer blush. Did not set my face with the mist yet and I haven't tried the highlighter but I do want to get into my lower lash line very fast. I want to take the pink on the brush and I'm going to tap the brush out just a little bit and I'm going to start patting this here. And we're just going to start smudging. And the black is already on there, so I just kind of want the pink. And I think that's how I'm going to leave this look. Looks really grungy. Really fun. I really enjoy it. For the other eye, I'm going to take that dark green first on the same brush. And kind of go under. <laughs> now I'm going to try to take the portal green shade. Wish me luck, because this shade has been this shade has been tricky. Moving on into the highlighters, I'm so excited because Glamlight does have one of my favorite formulas. I think I'm gonna try Uncharted on this side. I don't know if it'll like match or anything, but you don't really think the other option will match too much either. This is really cool though. I love this like color. And as I said, I do like to apply this with my finger. I feel like that's how I can kind of pinpoint where I want it instead of just having a bunch of glitter like all over my cheek I can kind of like pinpoint where I want it. Wow, that's crazy. I love it. Very spacey. I can definitely see why this was one of the color options that they chose. I already definitely went a little crazy with it, but it's fine. I ain't going anywhere. And I kind of want to try all three shades, so we're going to look crazy anyway. So I'm going to put Cosmos on my nose because I just want to see like how this would look kind of like just as like a little nose highlight moment yeah that's cute it's nice it works it's very pretty it's like a pink and on this side I am gonna use anomaly which has like a pinky purpley shift to it I'm excited to put it on oh my god <laughs> oh can I just like Blend it a little with my other finger. And while I know this may not be everyone's cup of tea, I do really like the way that this looks. Like, really alieny highlighters here. That's what I'm getting. This is really cool. I really like this. I'm really excited to continue using this. This is definitely going to be in the drawer. Along with the palette. I can't wait to continue playing with the palette. It's wonderful. I think the last thing I have is the setting mist, which moment of truth is it an actual potion for the face let's find out the way i want to test this is definitely to oh i'm gonna spray my face but i, I definitely want to test it with some shadows as well my the back of my hands i already have swatches on it so i'm gonna clean it off and then i'm gonna try this all clean i want to do and let's do the bright green all right so i, I put two colors down just to test my it's like a little experiment, you know, because we're doing a little potion. We're doing an experiment. I should probably not spray my Apple Watch with setting mist, even though my watch is like years old. Oof, this just sprays. Very glowy. I really like how glowy it is. It adds a very beautiful glow to the skin, I will say. It kind of hydrates my skin as well because I did use all powders today, so it's really nice to see like the nice glow. I'm also gonna spray the back of my hand, let it dry completely. I wish my hairs are sticking to this. It did, it did smudge. I don't think I let it dry enough. I'll keep you updated. We still have this section to try. Right now, it's, it didn't do anything. The purple though, the purple shimmer is holding on. That one isn't really moving, so I don't know. I feel like it's kind of a hit and kind of a miss at the same time. So what did I think of the Rick and Morty X Glam Light collection? I did not expect to love this collection as much as I did, and I'm so happy that I have it. I'm so happy that I got to play with it today. Let's do speed reviews. The palette. Now, I do think the shades that I use are pretty, but I did have trouble with this really bright portal green and I really wanted to use it because your eye is just really drawn to that color. You know, my eye is drawn to that green and the pink and that's those are the colors that I used. I really much preferred the formula of the pink. I think that formula is perfect along with the black and the other shades that I used. This green was wonderful as well. Uh, I find that when it comes to at least the greens here, I recommend starting with the darker color first and then blending out with the portal green because I found that the 
darker shade was not dark enough to cover the brightness of the green portal shade if that makes sense i did enjoy the green shimmers i enjoyed the pink shimmers i enjoyed this white shade as well i can't wait to continue playing with this palette and i do think that it captures the essence of rick and morty extremely well it's a very colorful show so the fact that this palette was very much colorful makes a lot of sense the lip kits i do like both of them but i prefer the rick hologram one over the accelerated time i find that the lip liner in the accelerated time is a little more like you have to tug on it a little more than the one on the rick hologram one the glosses on both are perfect beautiful glosses i love both of them and i'm not a huge gloss person so that's a lot coming from me i know i'm a huge fan of this highlighter formula from glamlight i just love the sparkle i love the brightness of it i find that it looks so good no matter what i do it's gonna look good and you can use them as eyeshadow toppers as well they don't have to be just highlighters i liked all of these shades i think they're all very beautiful they kind of look very spacey and alieny and i think that was the entire vibe of this collection so yeah i really enjoyed this little highlighter palette i think it's very well priced too at 18 dollars that's six dollars per pan i mean that's now that i've let it dry down fully I'd say the longevity here is pretty good now that I let it dry down fully. Holy shit. Like, yes, the glitter is kind of moving around, but the shade itself is staying put, which is impressive because I'm dragging on it. So, A plus on this. I hope they continue to make setting spray if they're going to continue making them really good like this. That's pretty impressive. Do we have a new favorite setting spray? I need to continue using it. I live in the perfect place to test it too. It is so hot here. I think that this will be put to the test. So I will let you know my thoughts on that in the future. So what did I think of the Rick and Morty X Glamlight collection? I thought it was extremely well priced. I loved everything I tried and I can't wait to play with it again. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I was about to film like this. Sorry, bro, but no, this is not it. It's time to get swifty. I have no idea what to even do. I don't even know. Blim, blim, blim. Blim, blim, blim. Blim, blim, blim. blim. <gasps> oh my god, this is like the tiniest, like, I don't even know if I can use this. I think this is like detail work. Like, this is too small. Potion. Is it an actual potion for the face? Is it an actual potion? I don't know what the fuck. What happened here? That wasn't there like a second ago. Fuck, bro. What is that? And how the fuck did it get on my face? <laughs> like, now I have like this giant like smudge on my face. I don't really know what the fuck, where that came from. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me now, but like, it doesn't make a lot of sense when I was 